government and we can damn well break a government. The theme of today's gathering may concern the sitting government. The head of one of the largest unions in the country said the solution to this nation's social and economic problems is simple. None of the struggle we have, we have the PNM administration that we must get rid of. But if they want the PNM out, who do they want in? I know they're afraid of one. Well, but he said the enemy of their enemy is their friend. Who is our best friend in this struggle? But the PSA is not standing alone in this. Yeah. God don't like evil. The PNM is evil. Rowley is evil. Ansel Roger warned workers that the labor movement and the country cannot take another PNM term in office. But the Petrotrin issue had him particularly upset. Remember, the OWTU is attempting to buy the refinery. We see where Rowley is entertaining some Indian businessman. That man is Naveen Jindal, who according to the office of the Prime Minister, is interested in the potential of the refinery. The Oil Fees Workers Trade Union will not stand idly by and allow anybody to walk in here and take over that refinery. In fact, they're throwing down a challenge not only to the Prime Minister. The fellow who said recently, he's humbled because he got silk. Humble my backside, he happy. The JTAM leader is challenging both Minister Young and Dr. Rowley to a national debate on the closure of Petrotrin. We on one side and they on the other side. And the people of Trinidad and Tobago, they in rapt attention. And we will show definitely how they had absolutely no reason to close Petrotrin.